Hi, this is Candace. I chose to do my research project on the influence women had on the American Revolution. As we all know, women had limited powers and were considered inferior in the 18th century. As I had begun to study early American history, it was evident to me the contributions women had were significant, yet they were understated and not as widely regarded or reported. Women, for the most part, are not included in history books as much as men. I wanted to research some of these women to highlight their strength, bravery, and innovativeness. Women, such as Abigail Adams, are well known, but to clearly understand her natural sense of independence and influence is not as well known. She wrote to her husband, I hope in time to have the reputation of being as good a farmness as my partner has been a good statesman. Not only did she offer advice to her husband in his political career, she handled affairs at home on the farm, wrote poetry, and involved herself in organizations that not only supported the military, but also empowered women. She was friends with Mercy Otis Warren, who was a writer and an activist who wanted women to make a difference in America. Mercy War Otis Warren wrote many playbills, but she also wrote about equal right rights for women and important events in the Boston area. Esther Re Reed can be read about in a collection of letters entitled Esther DeBert, later Esther Reed of Pennsylvania. This book, I must say, was incredibly interesting and it was difficult to not read all 368 pages of letters compiled. Esther was married to Joseph Reed, founded the Ladies of Philadelphia, and raised through contributions in the community over $300,000. Once money was raised, she wrote Washington, telling him about the funds that she had raised, telling him that although the amount met their expectations, it did not express the gratitude her and the ladies have for the soldiers they raised it for. Esther and her fellow ladies sewed shirts for soldiers and continued to support them throughout the war in every way they could. In a book entitled The Woman Who Played a Man, Deborah Sampson, Soldier in the American Revolution by Anne Lombard, you can read about Deborah Sampson who, by using her deceased brother's name, passed for a man and fought alongside men. After her service, she raised a family and petitioned for a pension, which she received until her death. Her story was one of immense bravery, conviction, and commitment. Mary Ludwig Hayes is a woman most people associate with the name Molly Pitcher for the pitchers of water she and other women took to soldiers during battle. There is so much more to her story. Although she was a wife who supported her husband at the Battle of Cowpens, she then stepped in her husband's shoes behind a cannon during battle when he collapsed. You can read about her in the book titled 10 Amazing Women of the Revolutionary War by Pamela Burrow. Mary was commended by General Washington promoted to sergeant, and served an additional eight years after that battle. Their stories showed a woman could be brave, strong, and a mother. How about Sybil Ludington, who is known for riding a horse a great distance to warn of approaching British soldiers? She was 16 years old and took the trip alone without regard for her personal safety. In fact, she rode longer than Paul Revere, yet you will not find her name in many history books. My research project covered many women who played many roles during the revolutionary period and did so with grit, perseverance, and determination. What I found was their contributions were impactful and made a significant difference in the war for independence. I also learned that many of their husbands gave them recognition and valued their contributions. It was a pleasure to cast a light on the small population of America that very well are the unsung heroes of the revolutionary war. I also feel the population is much larger than our history tells us.